All right, let's talk about a dehumidifier, how they work, and what kind you need for your basement or any other room where you have high humidity. And I'm saving you from unboxing it. This is just the empty box. I got it out of the box already. And there it is. It's working already. This is the model from GE. And let me show you quick how it looks like here on top. And there we can go and look from, oh, it's the air blown in my face. From left to right, we do have here power. We have a Wi-Fi. We have a speed, the humidity level you want, the filter, the delay button, and an empty button when the bucket is full. And what I hold close here with my hand is the ID of this thing, so that we can see how we connect this to our smartphone, what we can. Okay, the device has here on the back a wire to connect to power. There's a plug down here, okay? So this plug has a reason the plug is when you transport this thing. You can plug the plug in here so that you don't step on it. We do have here a filter. You can just take the filter out, clean it, and then here you have the AC unit in there. Okay, so it's sucking the air in through here and taking the humidity out and then up here the new air comes out of it. The display shows your humidity in the air. Right now we are at 60%. 60% humidity in the incoming air. And then with those two buttons, we can select what we want. The water it extracts from the air is sampled in this bucket. Let me put the camera here and let me take the bucket out. So when you do that, you take the bucket out, it stops working because it didn't, it doesn't want to drip water all over the place, okay? Now, the water is generated above this spot, it's dripping in here and then running into this bucket in here. When the bucket is full, then this little lever is moving down. And then the switch that is in there, back there, turns the system off. So the bucket has to be inside it. Now, how come that my bucket is completely dry? dry? It is because I circumvent this bucket with this garden hose here. So I don't know if I can show this underneath here. There you can see how the garden hose is connected to this thing here on the side, right? And you also see a little overflow thing, right? So if your garden hose is clogged, the water will still go in the bucket and turn this thing off um, when the bucket is full. The bucket now never gets full because the water is draining through the garden hose. So, if I put my bucket back in, oh, oh. there, bucket is back in. The unit turns back on and keeps working. And we see here the garden hose. It's going here on the floor, over here to the floor drain. We see that it's like little drops coming out, right? You see that? There's like drop by drop by drop. Gallons, or they call it pints of water coming out. So this one does 50 pint capacity here. It says 50 pint. Now, this one here does have Wi-Fi. So 
if you download an app, a GE app, it's called Smart, Smart HQ. This is how that looks like here, Smart HQ. I have this humidifier in here. Okay, so it has current humidity is 60%. My target is 40%. Okay, it's on Smart Dry. Smart Dry means it changes the fan speed to whatever is needed. You can put it on a schedule if you don't like the noise. Let's say you let it sleep at night. It tells you that the filter is okay and the bucket is okay. So if the bucket is full, you get a notification on your phone. If the filter needs to be cleaned, you get a notification on your phone. If any of those temperatures or things are bad, you can change them from here. Okay. And that's how you can look at your thing. Status. That's what it's called. Status. Huh. So, you also don't have to be... Let me turn this down. Huh? You don't have to be in the same household. Right? So, let me go back to my second one. I have another one in a different house. This one here. So once it runs for a little bit, then you can see the estimated ener the energy usage. So how much energy it needs to pull out the humidity, right? You have like a little graph here, you see that? There was one day where it was super wet, where it was running really a lot, full power, compared to the smart setting. On the, the smart dry setting, it needs less power. And if you do on full on like the lowest percentage of humidity target and let it run constant without a break, then it needs more energy, of course. Right, so that's how the status looks like once this thing is running for a little bit. So this hasn't happened here because I just set it up. All right, so let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this model here. I don't know what model it is. Does it say it on here? It's a GE 50 pint. It's the Spanish version. I don't know, it doesn't have a name on there. AWHL 50 LD. That's what it is. Oh. A W H L 50 L D. That's the model.